Hi guys, I'm Mystics, Audio Video Production. Today I'm gonna show you this tiny box. This is the new controller from Guru Controllers. It's called Liobox or Leobox. Liobox. So before start the review, I have to send a huge thanks to Lucky Music because this Lia box from Guru Controllers has been sent me from Lucky Music. You have the link in the description if you want to check out the Lia box directly from Lucky Music. But what is this Lia box? Well, this Lia box is a controller for your DAW, and mainly this has been developed for Ableton Live. But this is fully compatible with Logic Pro, with Pro Tools, Reaper and I think that there will be also some updates for other dough. So it's a controller that had to be used live. So it's not meant to, to be used here in your studio, in your home studio, in your desk, but for live situation. So for all that situation where you don't have the dough, you don't have the keyboard and your mouse to arrange and to change something in your dough. But this is a remote control basically uh, for your dough. Let's start talking about how to use this because it's not plug and play. You have to do something. First of all, you have to connect the Lio box with the USB which is provided, this cable. And I've connected to my USB hub. There is no any problem using in the hub. And when you purchase the unit, you receive a QR code basically that reminds you to a website to download a script. And this script have to be placed in this path. So let me show you. I'm here in my Mac. So you have to find your Ableton Live application. You have to go inside the pack, contents, then app resources. And finally, you have to go to MIDI remote script. And here you have to place the script that is basically this one, Liobox. Ableton 11. You have to download the corresponding uh, script for what you want to control, basically. So in this way, you can recognize the Lio box and use this with Ableton Live. Then, of course, you have to go to Ableton Live. As you can see, I have my uh, project. And then you have to go to Live, Settings. And of course, you have to search for MIDI. And here you have to uh, search basically uh, a MIDI controller. So you have to go here, you can see lots of stuff. And of course, you have to find out the Lio box. Okay. You have to place also for the input and output Lio box port one. Uh, you have two different ports. The first port is the USB. The second port is for the MIDI. You have, in fact, a MIDI connection here basically as you can see there is a midi connection uh, really tiny mini connection it's not provided the midi cable unfortunately uh, basically you can change everything with midi control so midi cc program in the ableton live okay after that you can see there is this check mark which is green green means that it's all set correctly now what you can do with this line box as you can see you have four different uh, giant um, rubber knobs this is a uh, really hard to click and this is very useful because prevents to uh, accidentally touch something and play some songs then you have the menu and the back to navigate on the menu this screen is a 3.5 screen is not touch screen and then you have a rotary knob and also select knob that's it. Very, very simple, very intuitive and works perfectly. The connection is very, very fast. It's really stable. So I prepared here basically three really mini song. One, two and three. They are basically made by loops. And let me show you what you can do with this live box. So I'm live. I may be in my drum set and I want to play drum over uh, a song. OK. Uh, here, as you can see, there are my three songs that you can see here. As you can see, there are some infos, the BPM, the key and the time. You can change this inside your Ableton Live. As you can see here is written basically the, the title, for example, the flying. You can see the BPM is 74 BPM. If I choose the flying is 74 BPM, the A is the key and 
1.07 is the, the time, okay? Let's play this. I can pause, immediately pause. I can, uh, again, if I toggle the pause again, it will continue, okay? In the same place. You can see the timeline here. I can pause. And if I go play again, basically I'll play what's written here with the arrow flying, so it's the first song. So I'm looping through my uh, songs. Play. He's playing the dark side. He's my third. Flying is the first song. In the space. So I can see and monitor which is the next song, the dark side. Okay? And I can pause it. The same I can do with my rotary. So for example, let's play. I can choose which kind of uh, song I want to play next, for example, this one, and I can click it. Very, very easy. You can choose one. The same I can do with the rewind and forward. So I can choose the various song. Of course, I have three songs in my project. I can choose one, I can play. Or I can choose this one, I can play. And let's pause it. You can go forward with the press long of this button. So, for example, let's play. Forward. Okay. You can also rewind. Or you can go at the beginning of this song with double click rewind. Play another song, play another song, start for beginning. Okay, really simple but really stable. Let's see now the menu. Okay, so you can go to the menu. As you can see, you have two different modes, the set list mode and all track mode. Now I'm on the all track mode and basically I'm seeing and I'm using all the songs in my project. So basically I'm looping uh, between all the songs in my project. Uh, on the set list, you can create your own uh, project, so a portion of songs between all your songs, okay? maybe you have to play live two or three songs uh, between all your 10, 15 songs, you can do that creating a set list. But I'll show you this in a moment. Then you can go back and see basically the set list. Uh, settings, let's go here. You can see the pad preferences because you can assign at the pad uh, what you have to do. So let's go here. You can see, for example, the pad play. Now it's in green, the play button, because this is what is loaded at the moment. So the play button works as play. You can also assign some MIDI notes to the play button. You can go here and assign the note number, the velocity, the channel, and stuff like that to send MIDI notes to your uh, Ableton Live. Let's go back, back. For example, you can go to, I don't know, pause. You can see here, you can also do pause with single press. Double press, you can stop. So let's try it. Let's play. Okay, so this is a MIDI note. <laughs> okay, let's go back to my menu, settings, path preferences, path play. Okay, I have to go here to play, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now let's play. Yes, it's stopping. Yes. 
because it's starting again the same song. Then again on settings, of course you can change other thing here, next track, forward, okay, settings, screen preferences, now I'm in standard and as you can see in standard you can see basically this view, you can see the BPM, the key, the time and the two different uh, songs, the, what you are playing and what you will play after this one but you can also change this screen preferences let's move to simple and as you can see there is no more the information of the song so the bpm and the key and stuff like that or you can go to time and basically you can see only the time and the song name but i prefer to use the standard because you can see basically everything and it's really really clean then you can go to the theme basically you can have two different theme the dark mode and the day mode and let me tell you the screen is really bright and um, actually i'm using the screen at 50 percent because i'm recording with the camera so i don't want to expose too much on the right so let me show you for example go to settings uh, brightness I'm at 50% and I can go really bright trust me it is really really bright I don't know how much needs but it's really really bright okay let's put again to 50% and then you can see the firmware is up to date 3.1.3 let me say you that uh, actually with this firmware with this uh, up-to-date firmware you can do the auto stop basically you can as you can see i've created this marker it's called stop with the brackets so for example i can uh, place here my mark i can go to set and with command r i can write open brackets and i can write stop and in this way player goes to this marker uh, the music will automatically stop actually you cannot do the auto loop and auto send to the next song but in the near future in the update there will be this uh, feature i already uh, contact the support of uh, guru controllers they are really really kind if you have any problem contact the support and uh, basically contact them on instagram they answered me very very kindly so great support so basically uh, this is the second song so let's play the second song for example i can move forward i can go near to the stop okay it's working really really great and the same here for the first so basically i can go here it's playing the first song let's go forward Perfect, it's working. Um, the, the visualization will change also accordingly to which window you're using because now I'm on the uh, arrangement mode. As you can see here, it's written arrangement mode, but I can go to the session mode. As you can see, it's changed. Session mode. And it's also changing the visualization here. Actually, I don't have anything here in the session mode, so there is no any name. Let's now see how to create a set list this is really important because basically you can use a portion of uh, your portfolio songs <laughs> to to play live so according to where you have to go to play you can create different set lists this is really great so let's go to set list you have to create a set list and set list of course, I don't have any set list because I have to create one. So let's go here. This is the first one. You can also uh, modify the name. For example, let's call it, of course, Mad, if I can do that. Okay. If I want to delete that. Oh, 
Click to confirm. Yes, confirm. Yes. Okay, now I can modify it and I can add the songs. I can scroll and I can see that I have only three songs because are the songs that I've created in my project. For example, I don't want the second song, okay? I want to add the first song and the third song. Okay, I've one, I have the first and the third. Okay, now I can go back and I can go to load set list. And as you can see, now I have two songs, the flying and the dark side. Basically, there is no more the second song and I'm creating this set list. As you can see, you can see the amount of song you have here. You have two different songs and I can play this one. Okay, really, really simple. If you go to the menu, change the mode and go again to all tracks mode, as you can see, I have three different tracks and it's written also here. Really simple, guys. And really stable. This is really important for a live application. Um, let me mention that this is all in super high quality and super heavy duty aluminum. So it's really, really well made, guys. Link in the description if you want to know more, if you want to purchase directly from Lucky Music. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.